Welcome to Vet Ranch, I am Dr. Matt, and we have the cutest little puppy ever. This is um, a little pit bull puppy, and we are just calling him Frankie. He is a little homeless puppy who was found wandering around outside a grocery store, um, and he's got little cuts all over him, so we don't know what happened to him, if he got attacked by a dog or a person or what, but um, basically he's, the, most of them are pretty small, but he does have a few that are going to need stitches, like that one on his back left leg. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and anesthetize him. Yeah, he doesn't know he's hurt. He's a happy little thing. I'm going to go ahead and anesthetize him, get a better look at all of his little wounds, because they're literally all over his body. I don't know what the heck happened to him, but... Um, and then uh, get him some vaccines and get him all healed up, and he'll be ready to go home to a new foster or new forever home. Yeah, bud. Come here. Good boy, good boy. Frankie's anesthetized and I started shaving all of his wounds on this side and there's a bunch of them. A lot of them are just abrasions like this and this where um, they don't actually need stitches. Um, this one's kind of deep, I'll probably put a stitch in there. Probably not that one, not that one. This one definitely I will, I mean it's wide open. Um, and then under here, look at all that bruising. Not sure what happened to this guy but he got pretty banged up. Just scrubbing all these wounds getting them as clean as can be. This one up here is really nasty. There was even a little pus coming out of it. So I'm not gonna suture it closed all the way um, because it's going to need a little bit of a drain hole so it can continue to drain because that pus is gonna keep forming in there to push all the bacteria out, try to kill all the bacteria. So I'm just gonna suture up half of it so it'll help heal it but won't totally close it off yet until he's uh, totally healed up. There you go, those are looking better now. I'll flip them over and see what the other side looks like. This side doesn't have as many, but they're all bigger. Um, this is the biggest one right there on his leg. Definitely needs sutures. That one doesn't need anything. This one needs a few sutures. This one needs a few sutures there, obviously. A little tiny one on his neck needs a few sutures, so I'll get started on that after I clean these. In some of the surgeries, you'll see me putting drapes on them and making sure to stay a lot more sterile or clean. Um, this surgery, I'm not too concerned with it because we don't know how long these wounds have been open and all of them were dirty when he showed up. I mean, there's already bacteria in these wounds, so we're not super worried about getting them extra dirty. I do what I can to be clean, but we just kind of consider these clean slash contaminated procedures. They're not sterile by any means. And same thing with this one, I am leaving um, the bottom of it open because it was such a large wound and I'm sure there's bacteria in it leaving it open so the body can naturally drain out of that and kind of flush out some of that bacteria if you leave it closed, if you close it up um, it'll just create a big pocket full of pus under his skin and that will definitely not help him just finishing up on the last laceration over here I already have um, antibiotics and pain meds in this guy so he should uh, hopefully make a pretty speedy recovery over Christmas. Um, today is the 21st, so I'll probably keep him over Christmas and uh, probably send him back with a foster right after that. That's my initial plan. We'll just kind of see how he does over the next few days. Just waiting on little man to wake up now. I think he definitely looked better before I shaved his hair off. It was kind of hiding all these wounds. Now he looks like he really got beat up. Oh, good boy. Hey, Frankie. Hi, Boyd. Good morning. You feeling all right? All right, it's been about a week since we first got Frankie and I did the surgery. And um, forgive the camera um, person, it is being operated by a four-year-old right now and she's doing a great job. Good job, Addie. Um, but here's Frankie. Let me show you his little wounds. It's only been a week and they take a little longer to heal up, but everything's looking pretty good here. Um, the only reason we're kind of letting him go a little early is because he has a home um, and they, the people who actually found him decided they want to keep him. So they're anxious to get him home since it was just Christmas a couple days ago um, and they want him as their, their kid's Christmas present this year. So he's a happy little puppy. He's going to make a great recovery and uh, we'll just probably pull the stitches out in a week or two. But he's ready to go home and enjoy his new family. Come here. He does now. He didn't have a family at first. Someone found him. Isn't that sad? Yeah. Yeah, but now he has a family. Isn't that good? Yeah. Yeah. Let's see what that looks like. Did you do a good job? Yep. Good. <laughs> do you like it? Yep. 
You think he's going to be a good dog? Thanks for watching Vet Ranch, and uh, for those who are new to the channel, um, basically we operate completely off of donations. So if uh, you feel so inclined to give us a donation, we would greatly appreciate it. And everything we do on here is funded by our viewers. So thanks for everything. Hope you all have a happy new year. We'll see you next time.